Hello my friends, before we get started, you're gonna notice some audio issues in this video. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Of course I messed up the audio on my very first video in my new house. I'm just getting accustomed to everything and I think I have my whole filming setup all figured out now. So hopefully the next video will be more on par with YouTube's standards. So I apologize for the crappy audio, but I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. Well, hello there my beautiful friends. It is Monday, you know what time it is. It is the time of the week that we take a look at everything that's been announced in the makeup world and decide whether or not we want to spend our hard-earned coin on it. So if you are interested in seeing what is new in the makeup market, then go ahead and keep on watching and let's jump right on in. So I know I've been completely MIA over the past couple weeks. I have been moving or in the process of moving. I guess I'm kind of getting unpacked and finally settled now, but I moved to a new place. And if you've ever moved before, you probably know how much of a pain in the ass it is. So I apologize for being MIA. I'm back, I promise, I promise. I feel like I've been saying that a lot, but there's been a lot going on, but I'm finally getting settled. So I can finally get back to my usual filming schedule. But let's go ahead and get on into the releases. Now the first release for this week is from ColourPop, surprise, surprise. They always drop palettes and makeup collections just every other week it seems like, so I'm not surprised that I'll see them. Although it took me like two days to even realize that they had released anything because I had been so damn busy with moving and opening boxes again and again. I'm probably just gonna sit here and complain about moving for half of this video, but I digress. They came out with the Lilac You A Lot palette. Now this palette retails for $12. You get nine different shades in this palette and it is available now. They released a few other products in this collection but I believe that everything they released had already been out, so I believe that they were all repromotions. So I really only cared about the Lilac You A Lot palette. Now, I don't know how in the hell I missed this palette coming out. Like, this is me in a palette. Like, this is literally me just plopped onto a palette. And somehow, I didn't even know that it was already out. Luckily, by the time I got to the ColourPop website, it was still in stock, so of course I went ahead and purchased it. This palette is just the epitome of everything that I love in makeup. I just don't know how it passed by me. It completely went over my head. I had no idea that it was even there. Luckily, I was able to get to it before it was too late, but ColourPop typically sells out of their nine pan palettes because they're only 12 bucks and you get nine different eyeshadows in them. And they're all really, really good quality as well for the most part from what I've seen and from what I've tried. And I know I didn't need this palette. I have all of these colors. I'm legitimately wearing dupes for these colors on my eyes right now. But for $12 for nine pans, I couldn't pass that up. And I was very, very lucky that it was still in stock because they usually sell out of their little nine pan palettes. I just don't know how it went over my head. I clearly was not paying attention at all because this is the epitome of me in a palette. How could I miss this? So the second release for this week is from Love Luxe Beauty, an indie brand that I love and I feel like we've been talking about them almost as much as we've been talking about ColourPop. I feel like the same like four or five brands have been releasing things left and right over the past couple of months. I feel like we've only been mentioning like a few specific brands and that's it. So I, in a way it's a good thing, but at the same time, let's let's diversify a little bit. Let's branch out people. So Love Likes Beauty just came out with 12 new single eyeshadows. They are all available now and they retail anywhere from $6 to maximum $10. So not too shabby. Now they came out with some really beautiful mattes. They came out with some pink mattes that are totally up my alley. Honestly, this entire collection of single shadows that they came out with are all absolutely gorgeous, but I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that all of the pink shades that are in this collection are basically the same shades that were in the Something Gorgeous palette. Yeah, no, they totally were. So I'm really glad that I didn't pick up any of the matte singles because they are all the same exact colors, just in single form from the Something Gorgeous palette, which I own. So that would be dumb to purchase duplicates. Now that I'm thinking about it, I definitely purchased one duplicate, but that's okay because I love the color. It is the shade Boomtastic, which is a beautiful ultra, like metallic high shine foil shade that has a lilac and pink and gold kind of undertone and trichromatic shift going on. It is gorgeous. I definitely purchased a single of that shade without realizing that it was the same one that I had, but I'm okay with that because that shade is beautiful. I also went ahead and purchased their two new shades out of this collection, which were the shades Amplify and Nuclear. I purchased the shade Amplify, which is a beautiful iridescent trichromatic, like golden, blue, pink, purpley kind of thing. Oh, it's so my kind of shadow. So 
I had to purchase it. A few of you guys tagged me in the original post on Instagram about these two particular shades. And you know me too well, I couldn't pass this up. I know I didn't need it. I know I didn't need Boomtastic. But Love Lux Beauty has beautiful products. And I'm okay with, you know, purchasing duplicates of metallics and foils and whatnot because I run through them like crazy. I hit pan on so many eyeshadows, so I'm a-okay with that. When it comes to mattes, I go through those a little bit slower, so I'm not as, you know, willing to purchase duplicates of mattes. But when it comes to foils, I dig my brush into there violently. I use like half the pan in one application. That is over-exaggerating to the max, but you know what I'm saying. I use quite a bit of eyeshadow when I use a foil. But moral of the story is here, I went ahead and purchased some of them and I'm really happy to see them come out with singles of the actual palettes themselves because not everybody wants to get an entire palette. Some people just want one or two shades out of the palette. I find myself doing that all the time with eyeshadow palettes so I really have to commend brands that, you know, care about us the consumer enough to give us singles and not make us purchase the entire palette if we don't want it. Now if only Anastasia Beverly Hills would jump on that train. Speaking of Anastasia Beverly Hills, we have a new palette. The oh so anticipated Nervina Volume 2 palette. Now this guy will retail for $60. You get 25 different shades in this palette and it will be coming out on September 26th. Now as the name would suggest, this is the second volume of Norvina's 25 eyeshadow palettes. The first one came out just a few weeks ago so I'm surprised that they released this one so close to when the first one came out but I can kind of see why because it really does look like if you smash both of these palettes together it would just be a really really giant rainbow palette which is of course perfect for makeup artists I feel like these palettes together would be the most perfect rainbow palette if you are a makeup artist and that sort of takes me back to my original thoughts about the Norvina volume 1 palette that came out just a few weeks ago in that these really remind me of the Viseart palettes I don't know what it is but something about the setup something about the way the colors are displayed and obviously the pan shapes themselves remind me of Viseart are quite a bit which is totally fine. Brands have a limited amount of packaging they can choose from, so I understand why this is reminiscent of Viseart's packaging. But Viseart is a brand that is made basically for makeup artists. It's, I shouldn't say made, but it's targeted towards makeup artists. Their products kind of cater to makeup artists, and the average consumer can use them as well, obviously, but they're more so targeted for makeup artists. And I feel like that's what Norvina is kind of trying to do here. The color selection itself is not really my cup of tea, if I'm being completely honest. I'm not really the kind of gal that's going to reach for navies and blues. I would definitely reach for maybe some of the greens, and I would reach for those two pinks out of the palette, of course. But the majority of this palette are teal-based and kind of royal blue-based, which is interesting, but it's not my thing. So I definitely wouldn't purchase this palette myself. I could definitely see merit in this palette. I could see a lot of makeup artists using it, like I said, because I feel like we could create a buttload of edgy look. When I see this palette, I just imagine what people could create with it. I imagine a bunch of artsy looks and a bunch of edgy looks, but I don't see myself creating a whole lot of looks with a palette like this. And I find it kind of odd that there's like a random yellow in there, although I do understand the merits of it because there are some more kind of chartreuse greens. So I think that the yellow would match nicely with the chartreuse greens, but the placement of where the yellow is in the palette is so off-putting to me. I mean, it's surrounded by a really, really dark navy blue, a super dark kind of purpley eggplant matte, and a matte black, and it just looks so out of place like in that corner. I don't know, maybe that's just me overanalyzing this palette, but it's just not my thing. I don't know, guys. So far, I just haven't really been that impressed with the color selection of these palettes. I think the prices on them are amazing. 25 shades for 60 bucks for an Anastasia palette. That's absurd, and in a good way, but the colors themselves out of both palettes just aren't really pertaining to me, and I feel like that's because they're very, very bright and intense. Maybe if she came out with like a pastel version of this kind of palette and this setup here, I'd be more inclined to purchase it. But I see the merits in these types of palettes. I've seen a bunch of people create beautiful looks with the first one. I'm sure a lot of people are gonna create gorgeous looks with the second one, but it's just not really my thing. And honestly, I still think that the original Norvina palette is the prettiest out of all the Norvina palettes. Maybe I'm alone in that thought, but I still think it's the prettiest one. 
And last but certainly not least, we have something new from Terra Moon Cosmetics, and this is their Iridescent Pressed Chameleon Shadows. Now, there are six different shades that all retail for $17 each, or you can purchase all of them for $85 a pop, so it is a pretty big discount if you purchase all of them. They are available now, but a lot of them have sold out because I have been keeping my eyes on these guys like no other because I have my eye set out on two particular shades. The shades that I'm the most interested in is Solar Flare, which is an iridescent yellow, pink, gold shade. I mean, my God, can you describe anything more perfect sounding? It is so incredibly beautiful. And honestly, I think it was just like one or two pay or stay aways ago where I was asking for someone to come out with a yellow, gold, pink, trichromatic shadow and they did just that and it is beautiful and I also really like the shade red giant which is described as a hot pink orange and gold trichromatic iridescent shadow oh trichromatic iridescent that is like the most beautiful collection of words ever I am so sold on these other than the $17 price tag because that's a lot of money for a single shadow, but these are so incredibly beautiful that I am I'm willing to spend the 17 bucks, okay? It hurts a little bit. It hurts me just just a touch inside to know that I'm going to spend that much on one shadow, but I'm going to I'm going to do it. I'm definitely going to get Solar Flare and Red Giant. I think I'll get sometime in the future because they're 17 bucks and I cannot afford both of them currently. Like I said, I just moved and moving takes a lot of dough, my friend. But yes, Solar Flare will be mine one of these days, mark my words. It is beautiful. She's spendy, but she's beautiful. And sometimes you gotta pay a little bit extra for a truly unique product. And I think that this is just that. So Terra Moon Cosmetics, keep them coming, please. Like give me more of these types of shadows because they are gorgeous. And I can't wait to see what other colors they come out with because so far they are on a roll. All right, my beautiful friends, we have reached the end of Pay or Stay Away for this week. So let me know down in the comments how you guys are feeling about the releases for this week. Is there anything that you have your eyeball on? Is there anything that you are gonna be skipping over? But with that being said, if you are not already subscribed and you enjoy Pay or Stay Away and you wanna be in the loop with some of these new makeup releases, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. And if you enjoyed today's video, if you found it helpful, if you found it entertaining in any way, then I would absolutely love it if you gave me a big old thumbs up. It helps out a tiny little mini minuscule microscopic youtubers such as myself so if you choose to do so then i greatly appreciate you but i hope that you are having an absolutely amazing and beautiful day wherever you are and thank you so much for joining me here today i hope to see you next time bye